Whoa. A bit of lag there. Okay, I think we're good. I want to test the audio. I need to hear the audio real quick. A bit of lag there. Okay, I think we're good. I want to test the audio. I need to hear the audio real quick. Okay, that's better. All right. Um, I was going over the stream that I did earlier today, and I was listening to the audio, and the audio seemed really, really loud. So I've turned down the microphone a little bit, and I have lowered also the output to the stream. Also turned down the game audio. So if it's still too loud, you guys let me know. Um, what am I doing here? I forgot. I haven't played this game in a while. Whoa, there's like a bit of lag there. I think this game on this computer is probably installed on the, uh, I think it's installed on the hard drive. I hope not. I gotta check real quick. Because... This PC is different from the other one that I normally stream on. No, this is on a Crucial MX500. So at least the audio shouldn't be popping anymore. Hopefully that's fixed. I am using a different microphone. I'm not using my Audio-Technica AT2020. That's with the Ryzen CPU. Um, I am using a Zalman I think it's a Zalman Z1 or M1. It's this little microphone that I've attached to my headphone cable. So uh, hopefully things are smooth though. Man, there's like a little bit of weird lag here. Okay. We should be good. Why does it like stutter? Am I crazy or has the number of people on the streets taken a huge dive? It certainly has. There seem to be even fewer people than when we were last here. Why? Sorry to spring this on you all, but can we oh, you know what? for a second? This game is known for having issues with shader compilation when you change GPUs. I never recompiled it, so maybe that's what it is, but we'll see. It seems to be running okay. It's just kind of... The texture popping was kind of weird at the beginning. The hospital is across the plaza. Shouldn't we hurry over to Dr. Vanell's? And I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I, this is what happens when you start up a, a a single player RPG and then you don't play it for a long time and then you come back and then like you don't even know where you're supposed to go. I guess, wait, hold on. The map? No. I don't even remember the controls. That's not the right button either. Okay. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I guess I'm supposed to go to the yellow. But anyway, so I'm going to try to get a 7900 XTX tomorrow. Uh, I am playing the game at 4K resolution. I guess I can show that here somewhere. Uh, screen. There it is, guys. You can see it. Uh, 2160p. V-Sync is off. Um, let's see. What else? This guy? My bed's starting to get a little ragged. I need some feathers to top up the comforter. Axe beak feathers would work great. Could you get some? Supposedly, the oh, AMD drivers have recompiled the DX11. They've redone the DX11. Although I don't know, there seems there's some kind of uh, there's some kind of weird issue with stuff you have on the other monitor. Um, I noticed that. So I kind of think, technically, I, I like the, the drivers from May of this year better than the current ones. These are the November ones. Let me check another thing too. So we got, we've got viewers, but no one's saying anything. Uh, what am I using? I don't even remember what the settings were in the stream. Whatever. Oh, I'm supposed to go in here. Dr. Vanell, what's going on with the village? 
There you are, Nina. I'd love to know the same. It's been this way since the first fair hey, Chris. in the east. What time is launch at Eastern Everyone, Standard Time? Do not be alarmed. Uh, nine a.m. As soon as possible. Wow. Nine a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This village might be experiencing an outbreak. Is the launch? You That's when you'll be able to buy one infected, online, and you'll be able to buy one what? at Micro Center. But, but can't we? And I think it's the same Doctor, for the rest of the world. So we were talking about it earlier. I think. We have symbols to reduce fever and cough. I think for Europe, for Central European, someone asked about Central European Standard Time. I think it's six hours. You add six hours to the Eastern time. So if it's 9 a.m., it's going to be three in the afternoon, Central Central European time. Therefore, if we just leave this disease to spread, it would still pose an immense risk to you and Chloe at the very least. Understood. Just to be safe, however, everyone besides Nina should move as far but away yeah. from the infirmary as possible. Uh, I'm going to be going to Micro Center and try to get one. Now, I'm not going to camp outside of one like the way UFD Tech did for the 4090 launch. Um, but I'm going to try to get one tomorrow. Just fill her in on the details. I tried asking somebody at Micro Center if the if they'll have AIB cards. They don't know. No, but they I know they'll have reference cards, but they don't know if they'll have AIB cards. Also, it's impossible because to I would. Infected. I don't know I if if they've got Sapphire, I'd get the Sapphire one. This is ground like the custom already. cooled one. Take the others far away from here. In fact. I think. Let's just hold up here for the day. Hold on. I don't want to incur Elena's wrath. I'm curious as to what form that would take. Trying to I'm see. Sure it would make for quite the spectacle. Custom cooler. You're a braver man than I. Wait, maybe video At cards. Rate, I must mm. go. Some of us have to wash speculants from their raiments. All right then. In the meantime, we should sit tight until we hear word from Nina and Elena. So the Sapphire Nitro is pictured. Can such flimsy cloth truly prevent us from contracting the illness? Not really, but it's still better than nothing. Plus, you're not just wearing one for your own health. If you ever get sick, it'll keep you from infecting other people, to some extent. I, I don't understand. How does the act of covering one's mouth and nose prevent the spread of disease? Oh, right. You're not really up on bacteria and viruses, are you? Yeah, where these people don't know about that stuff. Just how much people here know about that kind of thing, but where is he? Still getting his beauty sleep? Okay, real quick. Uh, I think I've got it open. So I was looking at this earlier during that cutscene. And uh, so the Sapphire Nitro has been pictured. I'm surprised it looks a little bit kind of very understated. Uh, it looks like a card that they'll make that they will make. This looks like the official design. And the reason why I say that is because these fans, they've used these fans on the recent 6950 XT Nitro Plus Pure. So I do think that this is the Sapphire card. If I was going to get an AIB card, this is my top pick. Uh, it's triple slot, so it actually looks like it's three and a half slots. You can see it extends beyond the third finger. So it's got three fingers for the case. That's really good to see. That's kind of like a 4090. Would rather buy a 4080 DLSS ray tracing car efficiency bigger, cooler, quieter car drivers. I don't understand what you're talking about. $200 extra. They're both terrible prices. Um, uh, I, I guess. I don't really, I don't really agree. Um, yeah, okay. I'll agree with you that they're both terrible prices. But that's pretty much the only thing I'll agree with you. The only other thing, too is yeah the ray tracing is better on the 4080 but it's not like the 3090 ti's ray tracing was bad to begin with so that's and i don't you know ray tracing mm, whatever uh, and then power efficiency i mean yeah okay 4080 without ray tracing is a little bit more efficient 
but the minute you turn ray tracing on then they're the same so yeah and the quieter operation i don't agree because it depends on if you're buying an aiv card this card right here is probably going to be the quietest um this is probably the quietest 7900 xtx and this is going to be quieter than any of the 4080 uh, custom cards so so yeah i don't agree with you on the noise at all unless you're talking like reference but even then you're talking 1700 rpm versus like 1400 rpm so so they're both basically like under the noise ceiling of the case fans so especially if you have like a 13900k or something that's going to be way louder um, with the if you're using an aio it's going to be louder than this so um yeah so so basically this is probably the one this is probably my top pick um in terms of the let's look what else we got here let's look at the other ones so the the pulse is pictured that looks very much like the previous generation so nothing really crazy there um what else we got power color to sell custom back plates power color reveals the 7900 devil so this is really a weird looking uh, backplate. That's interesting. Uh, that's, uh, I've never seen that before. The only problem with a backplate that looks like this is if it's taller than the standard height, then it will be hard to remove this graphics card unless you have like an Aorus Master from Gigabyte or one of those Asus boards that has the quick disconnect button on the side. So I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, it's an interesting idea, but uh, from a practical standpoint, especially if you're running like an air cooler, then this is going to be kind of hard to remove. But the standard one looks fine. This doesn't really look that crazy different from Power Color's previous design on the RDNA 2 cards, but that's interesting. It's it's triple eight pin. Uh, but this this one will be a good one too. I mean, I've had a Power Color 290X. That's the only Power Color graphics card that I've ever owned in the past. And it was good. Now, back when they had Elpida memory, it, those there was some like thing back in the day. But Power Color handled the RMA like really well. So, you're waiting to see when the rumor price cut for the 4080 happens. I don't think there is going to be a price cut for the 4080. You're probably going to be waiting for like another eight months. Let me put it this way. If you're waiting for a price cut on the 4080, you're going to be waiting until the 4080 Ti um, is announced, which is going to be like a good 8 eight to 12 months from now. So there's no reason for NVIDIA to lower the price on the 4080. Considering the previous comment, would rather buy a 4080. Well, if you'd rather pay $1,200, I mean, all the more NVIDIA is not going to lower the price of the 4080 when that sort of mentality exists. Um, so yeah, so the 4080 drops to that in the UK. What is this? Yeah, but this is in pounds. So what is that in USD? Like, I don't really think that's below MSRP. Galax officially launches the 4090. See, I'm like, if I was looking at NVIDIA, um, really the only one, the only one that really actually matters is the 4090. Um, but unfortunately, the 4090 is just ridiculously expensive. It basically costs the amount of money of an entire new PC build. So uh, that's why that one is kind of out of the question in my mind. And I think a lot of people would agree that that's kind of too much money. Um, the fact is, most people that look at 80 series cards, like 3080, 2080, 1080, 980... Um, 680, 780, like those, that type of product, they're typically used to paying anywhere from like 500 to 700 dollars. So when you all of a sudden jump to 1200 dollars, it's basically moving the goalpost. It's like Nvidia's moving the goalpost away from the average person who typically buys an 80 series card, right? So when you do that, you alienate your target buyer or a good chunk of them. And the only people left to pay that kind of money are the diehard NVIDIA fans. And 
honestly, I think that those people are more likely to have already bought the 4090 instead. So that's why I think the 4080 is just kind of left as kind of a bad value proposition overall. Um, compared to the AMD offering, in my mind, if I had to choose between the 4080 and the 7900 XTX, it's a no-brainer. I would go with the AMD card because the AMD card gives me 24 gigabytes of memory versus 16 on the NVIDIA card. Um, you know, rasterization performance is better. Now, people might say ray tracing is worse, but okay, here's what I would ask. Here's how I would, like, rephrase the question. Would you rather have better rasterization performance or would you rather have better ray tracing performance? Which one actually matters more um, at the end of the day? I'm pretty, it's pretty clear that rasterization matters a lot more considering the fact that every single game requires rasterization performance and not every game requires ray tracing performance. So that's the reason why I think AMD wins there. And then the other piece of that would be the fact that it is cheaper. Yes, $200 cheaper. So, uh, uh, you know, people are trying to justify that $1,200 is okay somehow for less memory on the graphics card. I don't really understand how that's a positive. Like, I don't, under I, I don't understand the logic there. That just to me sounds like an NVIDIA fanboy uh, sort of comment, you know, saying that, oh, I'd rather buy a 4080 for $200 more and then pay $200 more for 8 gigabytes less memory on the graphics card. Okay, because that somehow makes sense. But yeah, the 4080 price is terrible. Yeah, I mean, it is terrible. Like, that's the thing. Like, think about it. Like, your average 3080 buyer, do you think they're expecting to spend $1,200 plus? And remember, guys, $1,200 plus is the starting price. The, star the starting price. Look at this, Micro Center. Typical prices are more than 1200. 13, 1400, 1400, 1400, 1500 for the Strix. That's a massive waste. That's hundred dollars short of a 4090. At that point, you might as well spend hundred for a 4090. Um, so yeah, some of them are close. You know, this one's like forty dollars over, but it's a gigabyte, and people seem to hate gigabyte graphics cards these days. So that's probably why that's priced the way it is. Uh, and then Asus with the bare bones tough like honestly if i was actually going to buy a 4080 i would not buy this i would buy the founders edition card from best buy over this thing uh, and then pny i mean that's 30 dollars over and i guess but you know like this is the prime example of like why would i buy this when i can buy the amd card and pay less money than this for an aib card Right now, I don't really know how much the AIB cards are going to cost. They could very well cost, you know, twelve hundred dollars for the Sapphire Nitro, and then that that's equal to the base forty eighty. Um, so then you have to ask your question. Uh, then you have to ask the question of: Is an AIB AMD card that's priced at twelve hundred dollars worth it over a forty eighty? Well, the answer is still yes, because you're getting a better cooler. You're getting more memory. It's, I mean, the same, I'm rehashing the same points at, at that point. So, yeah, I mean, is is the 4080 terribly priced? Yes, we already know that. We all, we've known that basically since it launched. Now, the question is, is the 7900 XTX horribly priced? I think the question there, or the answer there is more of a maybe, because when you think about it, AMD's previous flagship, the 6950 XT, if we're going by the latest, was the 6950 XT. That came out earlier this year in like, I want to say May, if I'm not mistaken, maybe April. Regardless, you know, that was earlier this year and that was priced at $1,100 or $1,099. So that's, that is $100 more when it launched compared to this new flagship, which is hands down better than the 6950 XT in every metric, every measurable metric. So, you know, is the 7900 XTX poorly priced? You know, it's kind of harder to argue that point in terms of yes, it's a horribly priced versus maybe it's a little bit over or it's a little bit much, but it's not like a terrible value the way the 4080 is. You're waiting for the AIB cards because the reference model has terrible coil line. The XFX Speedster for the 7900 XTX will be 
1080. Uh, where did you find the MSRP for that? That, like the 1079 or whatever. Is that listed anywhere? Oh, you know what? I think I know what article you're talking about. I think uh, Amazon. Was it Amazon that accidentally... I think I know what you're talking about. I think I read that earlier. Uh, I think I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, you're, yeah, here we go. XFX, Radeon, RX, 7900 XTX, and 7900 XT. Merc, 310, get listed for 1099 and 979. So, is this better value than the 4080? Yes, it's, it's, even at this price, it still is. Um, now, what, if it starts going above 1200 that's when the argument starts becoming a no. Um, because, you know, as much as I'm criticizing the ray tracing, tr ray tracing performance being better on NVIDIA and worse on AMD, but, you know, it's 30 series versus 40 series, essentially. Um, once you start going above 1200 that's when NVIDIA, the argument in favor of NVIDIA comes back into play, in my mind. Now, having said all of that, though, looking at these prices for 4080s, you know, these aren't good prices for 4080s. That's a good price for a 4080. I would not pay a cent over MSRP for one of these cards if I was absolutely hell-bent on getting one of these. Um, I would absolutely not get anything above $1,200 around now like if i was going to buy one now for the 4080 now for amd you know because it has more memory it's the chiplet you know all that stuff that it comes with hardware wise i'm willing to pay more for the better cooler from an aib for the better uh hardware because in general the hardware is actually better than the nvidia stuff in terms of what you're getting so long term the amd one is actually worth more um, so, yeah, $1,100, even $1,200 for the AMD, that's kind of where I would draw the line in terms of the upper limit in terms of what I would spend. But if I was going to buy a 4080, I would, I would get the Zotac, I wouldn't spend a cent more over this. And if I was going to buy the AMD, I would go up to $1,200 for an AIB, but that's kind of where I draw the line. So, I guess the conclusion is, if it was my money... Uh, I would I'd be okay spending twelve hundred for either one of them. H man six one five or six fifteen. Thanks for the sub. Much appreciated. Welcome to the channel. So especially with AMD as more and more driver updates. Yeah, I mean that's the thing, right? Like if you look at that's kind of a value. That, yeah, a lot of people like to say fine wine. I. I I am of the opinion that that's kind of a, a long-term value add. I wouldn't put too much stake into the fine wine narrative. I, I personally would prefer to get all the performance day one. Um, but it is a nice to know, you know, that the card will be supported long-term, um, long after the next generation replaces it, and it will creep up in performance. Like, the best... The best example I can give you guys is basically the 5700 XT. The 5700 XT at launch was like an RTX 2070, but today it's more like a 2080 or a 1080 Ti. Um, so it kind of crept up over time in performance. So that card has aged pretty well for what it was. So that and that was already in a one. So so I mean there you go. That's like a prime example of that fine wine technology we all know like the rx 580 also that's an older card but that's another one that aged relatively well much better than the gtx 970 or the uh, 1060 in most rasterization titles just because it is more horsepower up front and that's the thing right like i feel like amd is giving you more for your money in terms of hardware 24 gigabytes of memory versus 16 on a 4080 you know like you're, you're basically think about it like this you're getting the amount of RAM that you would get on a 4090 for $1,000 from AMD, right? You got to look at it that way. That's This is the way I look at things. I look at things by the hardware specs. I look at the specs. What am I getting for the money? What's giving me more hardware? Because I know drivers can change. 
drivers can get better. I mean, they could even get worse, but they can only really get better, realistically speaking. But the hardware is all you get. Once you buy that card, once you get that hardware, that VRAM, that core, that cooler, that those uh, PCI power cables, that's all you get. You cannot change that after you spend all that money. So I always evaluate cards based off of what I'm getting for the money. And I always feel like Nvidia has always oftentimes shortchanged the vast majority of the consumer base for many, many years, unless you opted for a Titan, which is basically now the 3090, 3090 Ti, and now the 4090. Those are basically the Titan class products because they have way more RAM than anything else in their product stack. It's always been like that. Think about last gen. How much memory did the 3090 have? 24 gigabytes. Well, how much memory did the 3080 have? 10 gigabytes. That's 14 gigabytes of memory less than the 3090. So, and, and even if you go further back, you know, the Titan, the Titan had a lot of memory. But if you, if you don't count the Titan, because most people just ignored the Titan's existence, and NVIDIA basically did, a whole, did like a brilliant psychological mind trick on everybody by rebranding the Titan as a 90-numbered a 90 product. And it was a mega success because they sold way more 3090s and 3090 Ti's than they have ever sold Titan cards um, from any generation previously so they somehow figured out that you can psychologically condition buyers to fork over fifteen hundred dollars or two thousand dollars msrp on a 90 series product when if it was branded as a titan way less people would have bought it i know way more people that have 3090s than people who have ever bought titan cards in the past Reference cooler is gonna to be too gonna to be loud. Abby going to be expensive, at least twelve hundred bucks if if you can get it. Nvidia reference all day. Uh, I heard a lot of bad things about the Nvidia Founders Edition on the forty series card. I, now I'm not talking about the thirty series. I'm talking about the forty series. But I have heard accounts of a lot of weird issues. So I would actually avoid the the uh, Nvidia forty series reference card myself. If I was going to get one, I would get the Zotac, and this would be the maximum that I would pay. I would not pay a cent over this um, for, like, for a 4080. AMD ones is out. Uh, soon. Soon. It's coming soon. Within 24 hours. We're now within uh, 13 hours. 13 hours until the avail availability to buy them. 40 series reference cards are quiet and cool, but that's because they are unreasonably large. Yeah, they're really, really big. Uh, now, I can pretty much guarantee, like, this, this card, this AIB AMD 7900, this is the Sapphire. This one is very thick. This is a thick boy. Uh, you can pretty much guarantee this is going to be, like, the most, the quietest uh, graphics card across the board. For, like, it doesn't matter if it's an NVIDIA or an AMD card. This card will beat any NVIDIA RTX card on noise. It will also beat all the AMD AIB cards on noise. Guaranteed. 100%. This is the Sapphire uh, Nitro Plus. Sapphire is the best AIB. Uh, like, they always have been. They're legendary quality. So, uh, yeah. If, I, if, if this one is available tomorrow... And if this is $1,200, I'm going to get this. I'm going to straight up just get this. I'm going to forget about the reference. I'm just going to buy this. Spain, the 4080 costs 1,400 euros. Uh, that's because of uh, the... That's because of the import costs. That's import costs. What do you need more than 16 gigs for? You know, it's funny, people were asking me the same question when they had 3080s. People were trying to justify their 3080 purchase over a 6800 XT, and the 6800 XT had 16 gigs, and the 3080 had 10. So now people are saying, what do you need, what do you need, wait, 16 gigs for? You need it for 4K, you need it for high texture packs, you need it for mods. I mean, there's a whole bunch of reasons why you need the 16 gigs. I don't think they will sell out immediately. There will be 
200,000. Where are you getting these numbers? 200,000 units? Many people ignore AMD no matter what. Yeah, that's a, I mean, that's a good point. And I'm actually banking on that being a true statement so I can assure that I get one tomorrow for, for an unboxing video and a first impressions video on the channel. Um, but if, if the AIB, if Sapphire's AIB is not available, this is my top pick, guys. This is literally my number one recommended GPU of the year, the Sapphire Nitro 7900 XTX. You can't go wrong with this. Sapphire is basically the Toyota brand of graphics cards. Like, they are the number one. So there will be 30,000 reference models. Where are you getting these numbers? <laughs> Where are you getting these, like, 200,000 units and then 30,000 reference and the rest will be where are you getting these numbers where's the source for those numbers i think they will be in stock for a few hours before selling out are you talking about the sapphire when you say they'll be in stock for a few hours are you talking about this one or are you talking about reference because i think most people are probably going to go with uh the aib if they can the aibs will be quieter all those comments about it being loud those are stupid comments because the AIB is going to be like way quieter. The series as a whole, they'll be in for a few hours. I mean, the first thing I'm going to do tomorrow is go to Micro Center. Now, I'm not going to wait in a line or anything overnight. No, forget that. No way. I'm just going to drive there normally and go get one or see what they have. I'll like check the website, see what they have in the morning. Like, if we just type it in now, let me see. See, they, they don't show up, but they will. They have this product listing for Micro Center, the most advanced graphics for gamers. I think they mean graphics card, not graphics. AMD Radeon RX 7000 series. The hype is real. Breakthrough performance. Experience unprecedented performance visuals and efficiency at 4K and beyond. I mean, that is all true. If you want, like, super good rasterization, which is actually what matters... Um, this is the way to go like and, and the fact that it's chiplet and all this stuff I feel like they could do a lot of interesting things with the drivers um, They already rewrote the DX11 although I kind of like the older drivers from May myself um, In testing these newer ones But we'll see what happens tomorrow because there's gonna have to be a new driver release So this is the product page for AMD's direct site if you want to try to order one or buy one directly from them um, but what I want to know is, if we go to drivers, so see, they don't even show, like, the 7,000 series yet. So they've got, like, drivers for all the 6,000, the mobile stuff, the even Vega, the first gen, RDNA, but they don't have, like, any 7,000 series drivers yet. So um, this, is this page is going to have to be updated. No, we don't need to chat with someone from AMD. The 7900. I don't. I would like to know where you're getting those numbers, though. The, the three, the thirty thousand, and the two hundred thousand. Like, what's the source on that? But I, I really want to see like the the different AIBs for this Azrock, Tai Chi, and Phantom. Here we go. Azrock's coming in. They got the water stuff. Um, the Aqua, I think I saw this video earlier. So they've got the Tai Chi. That doesn't look too different from the RDNA 2 one that they did. I mean, this is this is kind of cool. I've never had an ASRock graphics card before. But I know ASRock also started making the Intel ones as well. So that's pretty interesting that ASRock managed to seal the contracts. Uh, to get both AMD and... I mean, they've been making AMD cards since 2018, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe it was 2017. I can't really remember. But uh, they've been doing it for a while. Um, they're AMD exclusive, but now they're they're not AMD exclusive anymore because they also make Intel GPUs, the ARC A770 and the A780. So that's another thing to mention. 16,000, 16,000 RPM is not quite enough. Okay, you mean 1,600 RPM. Nothing spins at 16,000 RPMs. That's like an airplane. That's not any of these graphics cards. It was from a reliable leaker, so there's a good chance. What? Who was it? 
Was it Kimi or was it one of those other uh, Greymon or something? I would need to find the post. But regardless, this is the one, like this is my like top choice if I had to choose. Azrock looks, those look pretty solid. Like the Tai Chi looks like it'll be really quiet because it's really big. Um, it's a triple slot. You guys can see, like this is the way you know if a graphics card's quiet. Count the number of fingers on the case connector on the bracket. So you got one, two, three. You got three fingers on this. But this looks like it's a little bit smaller than three. This is probably 2.8 slot. Uh, whereas the Sapphire one is 3.5. So the Sapphire one already, we can already tell, this is going to be very, very quiet. This is going to be the quietest one. Oh, Kyle Bennett from Hard OCP. Kyle Bennett, I know who he is. He's from Hard OCP. Uh, let me check one thing over here. What's up with his website? Why is it like all messed up? Well, well, I don't know if he just tweets it, but I don't see anything on... I don't see anything on Hard OCP, so... Whatever. Kyle Bennett, okay. Uh, it was from a reliable league, okay. Alright, well that's cool. Um, yeah, this is the top pick though. This is the one that I would get. And then this, this is okay. I've never bought an Azrock before. Um, I would I would typically recommend XFX and Power Color over Azrock. Um, well, that's only the only reason why I say that is because I personally have had I I had a, a, a Power Color 290X an, an R9 290X from like nine years ago or eight years ago somewhere around there. Um, and then the XFX I've had a number of them over the years randomly like I've had HD. I had an HD 7870 from power from XFX. Um, I've had I bought like reference cards from XFX where they just basically resell the AMD ones, but that doesn't really count. But you know that's a thing. At what time are the cards being sold? Uh, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if we're talking Central European time, because somebody asked earlier, that's probably going to be 3 p.m. unless they just launch them in the morning over there as well. Which is not going to be too far from now. But I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, so, oh, Azrock does have the liquid cool one though. So that's really interesting. Uh, let me see what else we've got. The Intel KS, the Raptor Lake. The Intel KS, 10% faster than 1200K. No one cares about the KS. Uh, Custom XFX. Here we go. Custom XFX. Gets first price. Oh, this is just pricing leak. But it doesn't actually. Does is that the actual cooler? That doesn't really look any different from the previous one. So I don't know. I don't know if I believe. I mean, the price I I believe, but I don't think that's how the cooler looks. EVGA is auctioning off its GeForce RTX 4090 prototype for charity. This would have been a very nice card. Like, this this would have been a really nice card uh, if they were still around. But that's... Wait a minute. Hold on. Is that a... Why, did, why, did, why does EVGA insist on the two-finger when they have clearly a 3.5, if not a 4-slot card? Like, I don't understand that about them. But anyway, it's kind of irrelevant now because they're not a thing anymore with graphics cards. But that, that would have been a nice one. I mean, the only thing I would nitpick on it is the two fingers that really needs a three finger um but oh well uh let's see 7900 xtx first set uh, that's just time spy so reviews go live a day before we already know okay here's the oris elite um this one is the Oris, because you can see the thing. That one is the Gigabyte. 
why do, why do they insist on the two fingers? Like when a graphics card is this thick, uh, when it's this thick, it must it needs to have the third finger. Like I can't recommend this because it doesn't have the third finger. People might say that's kind of me nitpicking. I honestly don't care because that's gonna sag. Uh, this is okay if you install one of those like GPU support brackets if you want to do that, but that looks kind of uh, I don't know that just doesn't really look that good. But it's not a bad thing uh, to install the support bracket. Um, but you know I still kind of think this would have been much better if it had the third finger. So the fact that it's two just looks kind of cheap and cheesy to me. But you know whatever. Uh, so triple eight pin, which means this thing is gonna be clocking up to like three gigahertz. Uh, I just don't know how this is going to perform. Gigabyte doesn't have a very good ch track record. Oh, this is a deal breaker. Uh, gross. Double HDMI and only two DisplayPort. That's, that's a no-go for me. So that one's out. All right, well, that one's out. Sorry, Gigabyte. Uh, unless, are, are both of them like that? Why are they doing dual HDMI and dual Display? That's terrible. That's horrible. Like, most... Most power users, most power users that are buying a graphics card that's this expensive, uh, they're going to want triple DisplayPort. Like, I am running three DisplayPort monitors right here. I got two 1440p, 24 inches on both sides. They're 144 hertz. And in the middle, we have a 27-inch 4K Sony InZone M9. So, it's like, yeah, uh, I want all of them to be on DisplayPort. I don't want any HDMI... Uh, monitor. You've got ASRock 6700 XT. It's kind of cheap, but it does the job. I mean, it, I wouldn't say it's cheap. It, it depends on what what monitor you're pairing it up with. I mean, it, that card has 12 gigabytes of memory. That's a good amount of memory for like 1080p. That's basically guaranteed to be very, very good on 1080p for a number of years. What is what do I think about the USB-C? I hate it. I hate the USB-C. That is the reason why the Sapphire... Oh, no. Is this Sapphire 2 HDMI? Why do they have to go and do that? Eventually, they'll add, like... Uh, eventually, these AIB partner cards, they almost always have a second edition or, like, an alternative SKU that has the triple display or they change up the, the output... But man, I can't stand the dual HDMI and the dual DisplayPort. I would rather have the USB-C and two, two DisplayPorts and one HDMI than two HDMI and two DisplayPort. That's just, oh man, why did you do that? It's like, Sapphire, it's the, the Jackie Chan meme. Why you do this? Like, why are they doing this? So bad. Like, it's such a great cooler. It's such a good card. But they have to ruin it by putting a second HDMI on there. Unless they could have kept, like, the USB-C somehow. But nope, they went and screwed it up. That's terrible. I mean, uh, I don't know. Now I might actually just get the reference. Unless they get, like, another one. This will feature dual BIOS, though. So, I don't know. That might actually be, still be worth it. That's what I'm using. That's what I'm using on my 6900... My 6900 XT has a USB-C on it, and I'm, re I'm okay. The the monitor that I'm reading the chat off of right here on the left, this monitor is connected via DisplayPort on the monitor and USB-C on the graphics card. So yeah, I've got the cable. I'm 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 ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to use that USB-C port and those two Display Ports, um, because the USB-C is basically DisplayPort Alt mode. So it's it's DisplayPort just in a different form factor, in terms of the video signal. But this, I can't stand. I don't like when they do, like, dual HDMI. Because they did this on the Vega 64 Nitro cards. And I think a lot of the AIBs that made Vega 64 were using dual HDMI. And it was just, ugh, why would they do that? That's just terrible. Um, although, having said all of that, having ranted ter about the uh, HDMI... Realistically, uh, it's HDMI 2.1, so it's really not that big of a deal. Now, that's still not as good as DisplayPort 2.1, but it is, you know, I'd, ra I'd rather have three DisplayPorts and one HDMI 
My second pick would be two DisplayPort, one USB-C and one HDMI. And then dead last would be this configuration where it's two HDMI and two DisplayPorts. So this is, I don't know, like, realistically, I would just run the HDMI to, you know, one of the side monitors and it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but it's just, eh, I'd rather have triple DisplayPort. I like the DisplayPort connector because it, it locks in so you can't accidentally like yank the cable out. Um, that's the main reason why I like the DisplayPort, but also DisplayPort, the spec is actually superior to HDMI. So um, both of them carry audio and video. So yeah, that, that's, that's just my, uh, my preference there for like the display output configuration. So it's, that's kind of disappointing to see that, that so many of these AIBs are using dual HDMI uh, let's see, is there anyone else? Uh, power color, did we see the power color one? Did they show their configuration? Power color looks like they're doing, it's hard to tell in this picture. Maybe there's another one, but it, it looks like triple DisplayPort and one HDMI. This looks like DisplayPort, 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 and that, that's probably, yeah, that's tall or so that's HDMI. So power color might be the winner there if they actually do the outputs correctly. Um, man, I really wish Newegg would like list them, even though you can't buy them yet. I wish they would list them so I could see the output configuration. Hmm, that's kind of disappointing. So Red Devil, that's a good choice right there. So far, power color preparing the Hellhound. Special edition Hellhound. The it, what's funny is usually the cheaper SKUs um, ha with the worst, slightly worse coolers usually have the correct output. They usually go triple DisplayPort and one HDMI. That power color looks kind of wacky. This one, the Hellhound. I just want to know the output configuration on the back. That's, that's really all I want to see at this point. This comes with like all this random stuff, like. This is, this is a support bracket. I don't know what these things are. <laughs> you get like pins and stuff. Oh, the Red Devil. Yeah, the Red Devil was the red one. Special edition. I don't know. 24 gigabytes of memory. You can't go wrong with that. Um, I mean, hey, I would take 24 gigs for $1,000 than 16 gigs for $1,200. Um, but yeah, the Hellhound. Is there any other, like, uh, what is this? Sweet spot? No. Um, Yestin reveals the anime inspired 7900 XTX design. How is this anime inspired? Like, what? There's no character on this. Wait. Oh, there's like a LED. What? That's so weird. There's like a face. There's like a character's face in there. That's that's really strange. I mean, that's a little bit kind of creepy. Um, how it's like staring up out of the thing. But uh, that is unique. I'll give it that. It looks like it's only dual 8-pin too. Which means it's, like, it's basically a reference card. It looks like it's a reference card. Just based off of the size of this PCB. And the fact that this is an extension, this overhang, so this is probably like 12 inches long, I guess, because the reference is 11.3 per Steve from Gamers Nexus from his teardown video. So, uh, RMB. I mean, this is actually so. Oh, it's okay. I mean, this is kind of upper echelon in the price there, but uh, I don't know. That one's probably not going to be sold in the US. Because the people play on 4K TVs? What? 4K TVs for... The anime card's kind of cringe. I don't understand how it... It doesn't really look very anime inspired. It's just like the... The only thing that looks anime inspired is this part right here. Which is kind of... I don't know. Like, if you have a big air cooler, you won't really get to see this. Because the air cooler will basically like be around here, and then you'll have your power cables running like up here, unless you have the power color. I mean, the, the power cables going down. 
Um, so, I don't know. I feel like they should have gone with a different shroud. This just looks kind of weird. This is like a female gamer looking uh, streaming PC to me, at least. That's kind of how it comes across uh, in terms of the color choices there with the neon lights and stuff. Uh, Intel, power color. So, yeah, I mean, the custom backplate stuff is kind of uh, interesting. This is really unique but i don't know how practical this is if this is the back of the graphics card i do think power color has kind of like they have stuck with the red devil branding for a number of years now i think the first time they introduced the red devil was i want to say it was the radeon the radeon pro duo they did an air-cooled version of the Radeon Pro Duo, which was a dual... I think it was a dual Fury X GPU. And I think they, I think they did one. If I, if I remember correctly, I think that was the first Red Devil. Because before that, they had the, the PCS Plus, which I never understood what PCS Plus stands for. But that was their branding before. But they've kind of stuck with Red Devil for a long time now. And I guess it works for them. Um, they had like Welcome to the Red Devil Club or some. They had like a card that cause I remember. I never bought a Red Devil card, but I remember um, watching like the reviews of it and what it came with. So it's kind of interesting. Um, but I do kind of think that if it was me, I'd, I'd still opt for the Sapphire. I'm just really disappointed that this has the dual HDMI. Like that's so bad. They really need like triple display for it. I thought they were going to save the day and put, like, they were going to get rid of that USB-C and put, like, a third display port. That would be super, that would be perfect. Um, but now they went and kind of went the other way around and put another HDMI on there, and that's, eh, whatever. Okay, so that's basically the AIB cards that we know of right now. Um, the, what is this, OC, OC 7900 XTX might not yield very much except for noise and heat. I'm not sure what you what are you talking. Oh, you're talking about overclocking it. Um, I mean maybe because the the card. I feel like nowadays GPUs just in general are already kind of clocked just above their efficiency curve. So yeah, the overclocking is kind of you know whatever. I mean you could try to undervolt and then see how far you can kind of stretch the silicon. To see like how good is the bin in terms of silicon lottery. So there's always that as an option. Zeke, I can't afford to make mistakes at these artificially inflated. I don't understand. What do you, what do you mean? I, I don't understand the context of the statement. Hell no, I can't afford to make mistakes at these artificially inflated prices. Um, the AIB models will hopefully have that extra 5% in performance and run cooler and quieter with no coil line. I mean, that's kind of how it always is, though. I mean, it's the same with the NVIDIA cards. AMD can stick their fake 7900 where the sun don't shine. No, I'm, I'm not buying from evil NVIDIA. Well, okay, then I guess you're stuck with whatever you have for the foreseeable future. I mean, there's a lot of people that are skipping this generation. Um, Elon is about to purchase AMD and slam the door on the snakes. I'm not exactly, I don't really agree with that, but, uh, interesting, interesting opinion. Um, I'll give you that. Um, but anyway, uh, I do think that the AIB cards in general will be better than the AMD reference cards. Um, the fact that you can see that they have bigger coolers, they have triple eight pins on a lot of them, like this is triple eight pin. So that basically gives it the same power limit capability as the 4080 because the 4080 does have triple eight pins. A lot of people seem to forget that it's triple eight pin. It's just running it off of that adapter. So um, this kind of makes it be able to draw the same wattage if pushed. Um, so yeah, this will probably use more power, but again, like any of the AIB cards on the 4080 also use more power than the FE model. So. On the evil, okay. <laughs> um, 
I kind of think that... I wouldn't be surprised if tomorrow they don't have the AIB cards uh, available. Maybe Newegg will have them, or it'll be one of those things where they become available later on in the day. Where it's like in the, in the morning, you have the option to buy the reference card, and then the AIB cards show up. If not, otherwise, I think the AIB cards will either show up next week or sometime before the end of the year. Uh, but uh, I don't know. The fact that we're seeing them now, it's, it's weird. It's almost like they're going to show up, like, real soon. I just don't really know. I, I wish I knew, though, um, because that would help me decide whether or not I should even bother with the reference card if I know the AIB card is going to be available, like, a week from now or something. Right, but the Tai Chi, these, this looks like a good choice. I really wish we could see the XFX model. I don't really see those. We see the power color ones. Uh, and then Sapphire Pulse. There's the anime one. There's the Hellhound. And then there's this. So these are the choices. Uh, let me see here. So again with the dual HDMI. Why are they doing dual HDMI? I thought everybody learned their lesson last time that people preferred triple display port. So that one doesn't have it. This one, I don't know. Uh, does this video... Oh wait, okay, hold up. Right here. HDMI, DisplayPort, DisplayPort, DisplayPort. Okay, that, but that's the liquid cooled one. I don't want the liquid cooled one. That doesn't make any sense. So, okay. Well, I mean, the liquid cooled one has the right I uh, output. The Tai Chi doesn't, I think. This one, it's hard to tell. That one does look like it's triple display port, though. The Phantom Gaming looks like it's triple display port. I guess I'm going to have to rely on Newegg. Because that one doesn't seem to show. Does it say here? Okay. Yeah, this Tai Chi has triple... Display port and one HDMI. Okay, so I'll definitely keep this one on my watch list for AIB card choices. Because this one does have the right output. No, I, I know, I know USB, it's, the problem is not the cable. The problem is I just don't like the USB-C connector. I'd rather have the third display port connector because the cable stays in better. I already have the cable. Like, I already have a USB-C cable to DisplayPort. I'm not complaining about the cable. I'm complaining about the fact that they should have just put a, a third DisplayPort on there. What is the best 3070 Ti and 3080 brands? Zotac, Amp, Halo, Extreme, the best because they have the highest megahertz. At the... I mean, just go with Zotac. Like, Zotac's good. Um, we talked about them back when the 4080 launched and the 4090 launched. Um, that's what I would get, because if EVGA is gone, they basically, I go Zotac. It's that simple. I mean, but that's me, right? Like, you, you might want to ask some other people, but that's what I would say. Um, Zotac's the best one, though. Just don't get Asus. Asus is way too expensive for no reason. Um, but I don't know why you buy a 3070 Ti, because they're not good value right now, and they're way overpriced. And the 3080 is basically non-existent anymore. Um, unless you're buying it from someplace in Europe or outside the US where it's actually still available. But even then, like, is it at MSRP or not? Like, what is better to get? I mean, look at the look at the deals on the 6000 series AMD cards. Those are like way better value right now. Like we've 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 discussed this like pretty thoroughly on the channel already multiple times. Um, but like, for example, well, you can't get it now because it's sold out, but this was a really good deal. And it included the two free games. But I guess they just sold out of this last one because this, this, this one was up and now it's gone. That is a refer, that doesn't matter. And then there's these, but these are not... These are not the ones that I'm talking about. Um, because this is actually $10 above MSRP. But yeah, like for example, here, let me show you what I'm talking about. RTX 
3070 Ti. Let's take a look. Um, bad value. And first of all, it's not even sold from Newegg. It's just Newegg store. This is the price of a 3080. So it's definitely a no-go. This is also $80 over MSRP. So that is a no-go. $100 over MSRP? No. No. You see what I'm saying? 3070 Ti is 600 or 599 MSRP. So if you aren't finding it for less than $600, you're basically paying for a ripoff if you're looking at 3070 Ti. And then 3080's MSRP is 700. So if you're like anything above that is a ripoff because it's a two year old graphics card. Um, you have the 2070 and need an upgrade and the RTA. I don't know why you get a 3070. Like, honestly, I would just wait or skip. Like, I don't, I, I, if I had 2070, I would not get a 3070. That's just bad value. Oh, Chris, this is just, well. 3070 is not double 2070. 2070 is worse than a 5700 XT. And a 5700 XT is basically like a 6600. So that is definitely not double. Um, you won't notice that much of an upgrade. I mean, that will probably feel like an upgrade if you're at 1440p. Um, but if you're at 1080p, that is a big waste of money. Both NVIDIA and AMD could lower their price margins, but would rather take advantage of the current market. Um, yeah. I mean, we're kind of already out of the supply shortage, though. Okay, would a CPU be better upgrade? I have a Ryzen 2700X. I was thinking about getting Ryzen 5000. Yes, that would be a better... Okay, that would make more sense, but I would question what games you're actually playing. Because if you're only playing GPU-limited games, then it's still going to be better to get the 5900X, but it's, it's more game-dependent. Like, if you play a bunch of MMOs, like, the best example I can give you is if you play New World, the Amazon MMO... If you play New World, I can tell you right now, like, upgrading the to the 5900X is night and day going from a 2700X. But yeah, you need a BIOS update. What would you recommend as a good upgrade to dab onto 4K gaming? Um, the 6900 XT. Or, or the new AMD cards that launch tomorrow. Um, this, if you can still find one. I would recommend this, and this is below MSRP, because the MSRP of this card is $1,000, uh, interestingly enough. So $700 for a $1,000 graphics card. So that's pretty decent value, and guess what? If you buy it, you also get two free games. You get, uh, where are they? I think they're here somewhere. You get, basically you get Dead Island 2, and you get the Callisto Protocol for free. See right here. Get up to two games with the select limited offer. So it's basically those two games. Um, we, we covered this on Black Friday deals, like on a live stream, like a couple weeks back already. But yeah, this is what I would recommend for anybody who wants to get into 4K gaming. Um, but you guys need to give me like a list of games that you play so I can determine if that actually makes sense. So you play lots of esports titles. Okay, so esports titles... The 5900X will will be way, way more useful than buying uh, a Ghetto 3070 Ti. So yeah, definitely the CPU upgrade for, the, for like League of Legends, um, Apex Legends, the CPU will make a big difference. In anything where there's a multiplayer games, GTA 5, it'll also make a huge difference. Red Dead Redemption 2, I mean, that's kind of single player, but, you know, that's it does kind of help with the minimums um, and the average. Cyberpunk, that is that is surprisingly CPU heavy as well. PUBG definitely will benefit from the 5900X. Um, in fact, I would probably tell you to get the 5800X 3D because it seems like you play a lot of different type of games. I mean, you don't really do a whole lot with... I assume you're not really looking to do productivity stuff. Um, but I think the 5800X3D is probably the best one to get. Uh, esports, yeah, Valorant. Yeah, definitely upgrade the CPU, man. The CPU, you're, you're going to get way better. You're going to get more uh, of a benefit changing the CPU than, than trying to go to a 37... Oh, by the way, what monitor 
what monitor resolution I should ask you like what is your the resolution you're playing at because if you're at 1080p then yeah definitely 3070 Ti is a big waste of money M massive waste of money if you're buying for like a 1080p monitor uh, I stream and play games at the same time yeah, 1080p, okay, yeah, forget about the graphics card. If, if you're playing, like, GTA V, which is, like, so old now, and a bunch of, like, multiplayer games, the 5000 series is the way to go. Like, you can probably just wait until sometime next year when there's more affordable graphics cards. Um, hey, the B. Currently run 2060 Super, broken fan bearings, about to die, dual 1440p monitors, mainly then, looking at going... Um, don't worry about the run hot. People are talking about the hot spot. Like, that's not a big deal. That's, ADC is like nothing, dude. Like, there's no reason to worry about that. Just to put things into perspective, the 13900K from Intel, the 13th gen CPU that just launched, like, last month, or actually in October, that thing runs to, like, 100 Celsius, like, within two seconds. Um, and apparently they're like, this is fine. And, and then the, uh, I have videos showing this stuff, by the way. And then the 7950 Ryzen from AMD, that thing, like, tr actively tries to heat up to 95 Celsius. So, I would not worry about the hotspot temp and all that stuff on the graphics card at all. Uh, you can't run GTA 5 at over, like, one of the, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, uh, 1440p, like... Honestly, if you're doing 1440p, just get like this graphics card that I have on the screen. Um, unless you, unless you're okay with spending like $900, so like $200 more for for the what will soon be the current generation cards. Um, but I think that this this is good uh, if you want to save some money. Because think about it like this: with this, you get you get Dead Island 2 and the Callisto Protocol for free with the purchase of this graphics card, like right now. Now, I don't know if the 7000 series GPUs will have that same offer. I, I kind of doubt it. So, you can, okay. 5950X better to get over the... Uh, it does make a difference, but only really in multi-threaded workloads. In gaming, you, you won't really notice the difference. I, I really kind of think that... Um, I mean, Aiden, I would probably tell you, like, if it was me, I'd probably get the 5800X 3D. But it's up to you. If you want the multi-thread of a 12-core or a 16-core, um, by all means, if you can find those for a good deal. Those are actually on pretty good uh, deals right now. Um, go ahead and get one of those, either the 12 or the 16, depending on your budget. But, yeah, like, either one of those is going to be way better than what you have right now. The point is, we were lied to about the ray tracing situation and it shall be punished. Okay, looking to spend the extra to future proof over a few extra years. Okay, so the B, um, what I would tell you is if you're really looking for future proofing um, and you're on dual 1440p, I would tell you the 7900 XT is probably going to be a safe bet. This, having said that though, this is also still a safe bet. 16 gigabytes at 1440p is a really good amount of memory. I mean, this is the same amount of memory on the 4080. So you got to keep that in mind. And this gives, comes with two free games. And this GPU, this GPU from AMD, the 6900 XT, was designed for 4K, but realistically, because it's, as it gets older, right, like, it will, it will basically become a 1440p graphics card. Um, where that's kind of the sweet spot resolution for that, for the 6900 XT. Whereas the 7900 XT, is more like 4K, made for 4K, um, and it's got more memory, so it's even more made for 4K in that regard. Um, but I, I do think it's up to you. Like if you want, if you want to buy the latest generation and you're on 1440p and you don't think you're gonna go to a 4K monitor anytime soon, then yeah, the either one, this if you want to save money, or if you want the latest generation, then get the 7900 XT. I mean that's kind of the way I see it, logically. Don't buy until Elon purchases AMD and the inflated prices are punished. RDNA 3 is not what we asked for. That has to be punished. Uh, what what did we ask for though? Like, I'm a little I'm a little confused on what we asked for. 
I don't remember asking them for anything. I was told by some people I know that I have a fake 2070 since it came in a pre-built cyber power pre-built and no backlink. Okay, whoever's telling you have a fake 2070, don't listen to them. They have no idea what they're talking about. A 2070 is a 2070. Um, yours is probably just uh, an OEM. It's an OEM because it came in a pre-build. Um, you know, that's like if you were to buy a Dell or an HP Omen or something. So, yeah, don't listen to them. It's a, it's a legitimate 2070. Um, RDNA 3 wasn't a lie. It was... The, what, what probably is different is the power limit from your the VBIOS on that pre-built 2070. It might have a much lower power limit than, like, one that's from, like, an AIV card, for example, that you'd buy separately. Um, but, yeah, like, that's... It's still valid. Like, it's not like it's an invalid... It's, or it's not like it's a fake 2070. That, most people don't know what they're talking about. RDNA 3 wasn't a lie. It was just overhyped, which isn't AMD's fault. You can't afford a mistake right now at these artif... These are fake features. Dude, Zeke, I don't know what you're talking about, man. You sound pretty high to me, to be honest. Like... Uh, <laughs> it sounds like... Just, this just sounds like conspiracy theory stuff. I don't know. It just, I, I, I'm not following you, man. Like, it's just, you got to explain it better. Because the inflated prices, like, did you, do you know what the prices of graphics cards were a year ago? Uh, okay. Great advice. Uh, you keep that in mind. Yeah. Uh, oh, the Australian markup. Okay. So you're over there. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be like USD, but I mean, I don't think it'll be super, super overpriced, but I could be wrong. I don't really know, uh, typically, when a new product launches. I know in Euros, it tends to be, you know, about 100 US dollars to 150 US dollars more, um, plus or minus 10 to 15 percent, depending on which country you are in the EU. Now, I know Australia obviously is not in the EU, but for the Australian dollar, uh, I do I don't know it's it's weird like from my experience looking at the prices over there it's either like way more expensive than the u.s equivalent or it's on par or sometimes it's maybe you know like a hundred u.s dollars more i don't know it's it's just kind of random and, and, and since this is a new since this is a new product launch it's it's kind of even more hard to say so buying amd gets elon what he really wants the death of evil Dead. Huh? <laughs> oh, you mean if Elon buys AMD or if uh, or if people buy AMD graphics cards? I think we will. But you, you keep saying inflated prices, but do you know what the MSRP of the 6900 XT was? Do I need to put that up on screen again? <laughs> do I need to bring that up? I feel like I gotta bring that up again because I feel like there's a little bit of confusion in the chat here. Uh, let me find that. I got it up. Hold on. I did this on a previous stream, so we'll just bring it up again to review this for people who forgot. Where is it at? Okay, and actually, you know what? Let me close up this game. Like, why is this still open? Just exit out of this game since obviously no one's... We're not playing it. Okay, so this this is the MSRP of last generation. And this is the MSRP of NVIDIA's last generation. So, the last flagship from AMD was $1,100. The last real flagship, which was basically two years ago, was $1,000. So, what is the new flagship that's gonna launch tomorrow going to cost? $1,000. So I don't really see what you're talking about by the inflated prices when it comes to AMD. Um, for Nvidia, yes, there are inflated prices because the 80 class product had an MSRP two years ago of $700. Now, clearly you could never buy it at $700 because of supply shortages due to the pandemic. We all know how that played out. Scalpers, bots, we all know about how that played out. So the NVIDIA cards became super, super overpriced because they, 
you couldn't get them at MSRP. So that allowed NVIDIA to introduce cheesy cards with massive markups like the 3080 Ti, which was terrible value. Um, and then you had the 3090 Ti earlier this year, back in March, for two grand MSRP. So there you go. Um, bogus performance at high prices have to be punished. Elon will come through for us by buying AMD. You'll see. Okay. I mean, that'll be cool if he does. Um, I'm not sure what his position in the company would be if he did that. I guess he would be on the board of directors or something. I mean, he'd be the, he'd be like majority owner, but he's not going to be the CEO because, um, I don't think he has any, I don't think he has any interest in being the CEO of a semiconductor company. I think he has a lot more things that he's interested in besides that. Okay, so these are the prices though. So so if you guys are looking at last generation, regardless of whether it's RDNA 2 or the 30 series, this is what you need to pay attention to if you're one if you're considering like earlier um, I think Aiden was looking at the 3070 Ti. Um, so this is the MSRP of that graphics card, $600. So, so my question is, can you find one of these brand new for under MSRP? I mean, the answer is no, you can't. You can only find them used for under that price. If you're going to buy it brand new, it's typically going to be above $600. And that's the reason why I can't recommend it, because it's not a good value if it's over the MSRP. And it's already, you know, last gen. Does that make sense? I hope everybody understands the, that point. Because that's kind of a, a key point to understand if you're looking at buying last gen hardware. Um, because right now, if you're buying last gen, um, you, get, you get better value if you're buying an AMD card, right? Because you're actually getting these at lower prices. Versus this, where you can't. So... Um, I mean, that's, this is how it is, right? So, okay, so do we have any more questions? We got, like, con we got a lot of concurrent viewers, um, but it hasn't really been, what, this guy, Zeke, had too much Zaza. What about Elon buying YouTube? I'm right, and you need to lay off the WAP juice. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Elon owns YouTube, better not talk down to me. Um, no, he doesn't. I can make it hurt. Okay, sure. Um, so, I guess, moving on, uh, let's, I guess, I guess the next thing here is, other than me, like, starting up Genshin Impact again, is, does anybody have any questions on, on anything we talked about? Besides Elon Musk and y YouTube? Okay, I can't wait to upgrade from my GTX 1050 laptop. Yeah, I mean, that's that's basically a world of a difference there. Any comments on XT versus XTX? So, I would say, honestly, I don't like the way the XT is priced. I think that the XT is priced too close to the XTX. The XTX at $1,000 makes sense to me. The XT at $900 doesn't really make as much sense. Um, I do think that that card would have been better suited at, at like $799 or even $699 or maybe $749. Um, just because it's quite a bit weaker than the XTX. Um, but it also... It's not like... It's not super better than the 6900 XT. And the 6900 XT, you know, the MSRP of that was 1000 but you can get one for like 600 something now, or $700. So that's the reason why I feel like the 7900 XT is kind of in a weird spot. It's, it's in a weird spot in the same way the 4080 is in a weird spot. Um, but the 4080 at 1200 just seems kind of outrageous. So, but I really feel like the 700 XT is similar. Um, but because it's so close to the XTX, it's 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 harder to to analyze like what its price should actually be, right? I, I kind of think it should be like seven hundred to eight hundred, somewhere around there. 
I think that makes more sense. Um, and the XTX is fine at a thousand, but yeah. Forty ninety and face the scorn. Okay. I think the the RX seventy nine hundred XT would have been reasonable at seven. At, yeah, yeah, basically. Well, I mean, I think a little bit lower than that to be. I mean, maybe seven ninety nine, but I'm I kind of think seven forty nine, and I think it makes more sense. Seven hundred XTX is passable at a thousand, just because the sixty nine hundred XT from two years ago was the same price. This was the same MSRP, so it's like, you know, like, I don't really see anything wrong with the XTX being the same price. The performance isn't that, I mean, are you sure about that? Have you looked at the reviews? Like, okay, let's put it a different way. If, if the 7900 XTX was equal to the 4090 or better... You would expect that card to be like $1,700 or $1,600 or maybe $1,500 um, just because AMD doesn't have as much of a like mind share as NVIDIA, right? Like it would not be $1,000 if it was as good or slightly better in rasterization than the 4090. The fact that this card, look, the fact that this card, the c 50 XT was priced at $1,100 and it performed equal to this kind of shows that AMD look this is what is the difference between these two $400 this is a $400 differential so that would mean that if okay maybe 1200 1300 um, could have been the price of the 700 XTX if it was roughly equal to the 4090 in rasterization i mean i think that kind of makes sense should be like 900 that ice is saying nvme or nvm is 83 saying 900 for that and see i kind of see the 749 749 for the xt makes sense but 900 for the xtx seems a little bit on the generous side because you do realize that the 700 xtx is faster than the 4080 right like have you guys looked at the reviews it is faster than the 4080 uh, it's not faster in ray tracing. I never said it was faster in ray tracing, but it's faster in rasterization and it's still less money. So I don't really see, I, I don't agree with that. I think that $1,000 is fine considering the fact that, you know, earlier this year they launched an $1,100 graphics card. Has anybody looked into that? Like, have you realized that they had an $1,100 MSRP graphics card earlier this year? And, and the card that they're launching now is a lot better than this card. So has that actually, like, sunk in yet to a lot of people? I don't know. NVIDIA cheats and AMD tags along. Well, that's what you get when you get a duopoly. Okay, it's overall slightly faster even while it trades blows, but in most games the AMD card wins most of the time. Yeah, but okay, see what you see. So H-Man is saying that it's overall faster than even while it trades blows, but in most games, the AMD card wins most of the time. Yeah, so, and 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 it's $200 cheaper. It wins and it's $200 cheaper. Like, how is that a bad thing? Like, I don't understand the logic. Um, I guess you're saying it could, I guess ICE is saying that it could have been $100 less. I don't agree because this card was more and it's a worse card. So the new card is faster than this and it's $100 less than this MSRP. And you got to remember this is 16 this is this is 16 gigabytes of memory. The new card is 24 gigabytes of memory. So it's more for less money. You know, granted it's $100 less, but it's still better in all respects compared to the 6950 XT just like how the 4090 was better than this card and it was cheaper than this card so to me it makes sense well if the 4080 was 899 then all would be great where's the water cooler that's supposed to be on the vent 
Uh, yeah, there is one. We looked at it earlier. It's the Azrock. Azrock had one. Let me go back to the page. The Azrock Aqua is the liquid cooled one. Uh, where is it? Bring the window back up. Oh, that's not it. Where is it? There. There's the liquid cooled one. The one with the water block. Water cooler. Where's the water cooler the 4090 should have? That's not there either. Well, that one, I don't know. I th No, they do have one. The, the MSI Supreme has a liquid one. So, yeah, there's a liquid-cooled one on here. So, I mean, they basically have the entire product stack ready. I just kind of don't understand, like, why the AIB cards... Why it's been so quiet on the AIB side. Because, like, when the, when the 4090 launched, the AIBs launched, like, right alongside the reference card. So, I don't know why. Like, what's the story with this? Like, why we don't see these here? I feel like the communication from to like from the retailers like Best Buy although you know Best Buy didn't really know how the 4090 launch was going to go down either but Best Buy has no idea Best Buy doesn't couldn't tell me like if they're going to have the reference cards for sale on the website or if they're going to have the AIB cards typically Best Buy carries XFX um, and MSI like those are the two most common ones that they carry for AMD cards um, and then they don't really carry the reference cards. Although they, they do sometimes. It's very, very rare. Um, and it's usually sold with packaging from one of the AIB partners. So it's not actually the AMD packaged one. Um, and then like Micro Center told me that they will have them. But they don't know if they'll have the AIB cooler ones. They know that they'll have the reference cards um, sold via... Um, let me see. Let me look look through my notes from Micro Center. So, okay, okay. So they might actually have them. Uh, I, they're not really saying which AIBs, but Micro Center might actually have some of the AIBs tomorrow. Just just saying. I have some insider information, so I can't really say anything because I don't want to like break any NDAs or anything. So I'm not going to tell you guys what brand, but they might have they might have some AIBs at some micro centers in the U.S. Squeeze the limit, yeah. Um, but yeah, micro center is going to have them. They'll they'll have the reference ones. I just don't know like what AIB ones they'll have. Uh, so for Best Buy, typically Best Buy, like I said, XFX and MSI. For Micro Center, it's oftentimes it's Power Color, ASRock, sometimes Sapphire. I don't really know why Micro Center doesn't carry that much Sapphire. Um, typically, if you want Sapphire, you got to go to Newegg for that. Maybe Amazon, but Amazon's even more like harder to find certain SKUs compared to Newegg. Um, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, I kind of think that if it was me, you know, we'll see. Like, I, I, I'm curious to know if there'll be an AIB that has the triple or four slot cooler with the three display ports. That's probably going to be the one that I go for. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I know that the Sapphire one will be really, really quiet. Um, I just don't like the fact that it has that second HDMI on there. That's kind of the thing that is disappointing. Um, but other than that, you know, like, they're all, they're all pretty good. This Yestin one's literally weird, though. Just watching. Micro Center has power color and ASRock per the employee I asked. Yeah, see, uh, uh, do you know if they mention if they're AIB or are they just going to be the, you know, like the reference card in a box with power color or a box with, uh, 
ASRock branding on the front. That's that's the thing, because I kind of think that, that they're going to have the reference, but they're not going to sell the reference with like the AMD packaging that you would get if you were to buy it off of AMD.com. They're going to basically be resold through the AIBs. Okay, so it's AIBs. Okay, well, we'll see. I mean, yeah, that's kind of in line with what I've heard too, so uh, we'll see. But I'm definitely going to be there tomorrow uh, and try to get one of these. Regardless, I'm going to try to get one to show on the channel. We're going to do the same exact kind of coverage that we did with uh, Intel. Because remember, guys, I did do Intel Arc A770 at launch. I, w I went into Micro Center on launch. I did not wait in line with all the people that were buying the 4090s. I let all that go. I showed up, you know, like around like 10 30 in the morning um, i showed up at the store i said do you guys have the intel arc a770 the reference card not the aib asrock one and they told me that they had like two of them come in they didn't even know that they were graphics cards they were in like an unlabeled box um but they got it i mean that's how i got my arc a770 so just like i did with the a770 Back in October, on October 12th, when that launched, um, I will be doing, assuming I get one of these, I'll be doing an unboxing video, I'll be doing a first impressions video of the cooler, um, and then I'll be doing a live stream, kind of like this, but I'm going to be playing games, and I'm going to be encoding the stream using the AMD AMF encoder, just like how currently right now we're using the AMD encoder on the older graphics card. So... We'll do this. Uh, we'll do it that way. And then, yeah, uh, we, we'll try to revisit, like, stuff with AV1. Um, I'll have to see, like, how all that works in OES, but that'll be an interesting separate video in the future. Um, so if you're curious, if you, if you want to see, like, how my, my take on the new AMD card is going to be compared to, like, the reviewers who are basically given samples to review, um, you know, stay tuned for that. Because there's going to be a lot of content on the channel. We will be pairing it up initially with the Intel i9-13900K CPU. This will be what I will be pairing it up with. Um, and then later on, I will also be pairing it up with the Ryzen 9 7950X, the new AM5 CPU that launched back in September of this year. So we've got that, but that will come later. I'll do the AMD Ryzen Plus Radeon later on. We're going to cover Intel 13th Gen plus Radeon's new flagship first. We're going to cover that one first, and then we will revisit Ryzen later. Because I feel like most of my videos in the previous couple of weeks have all been focused on Ryzen um, and not really Intel. And I, I do want to revisit Intel because I know there's a lot of people that are interested in this CPU, or at, at least 13th Gen, um, DDR5, and how that works. So we are going to be doing more content with the i9-13900K alongside the AMD 7950X. Man, the chat like updates all at once. Like Zeke's comments all like spam into the chat like right up here like all at the same time. It's hard to keep up with them. Reference cards come with more voltage and stabilities. Don't make a mistake that these by denflation prices. Elon will fix, it will be very soon. Elon is just literally playing life in creative mode. What? Evil t I don't understand, man. There's like too many comments, Zeke. I can't keep up with all your comments. They all, they all come in like randomly all at once. Um, his next logical move is to buy. Okay. okay. Anyway, um, things will be good. Again, you'll see. Yeah. Robert Jr. Robert Young Jr. Nope. What? <laughs> like what? What? <laughs> Save the money. What? Save the money by better system at lower cost. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, th that's good advice. I mean, again, it, it, I've been saying this the whole time, right? It depends on the, uh, the budget, right? It's like the budget for people. Should I buy a 3090 if I can get one for around $650? That is a pretty good deal for the 650 for the 3090. However, the thing I don't like about the 3090, and I've said this before, the reason why I don't recommend the 3090 is because here I'll show you why I don't like that card. Let me just go to one of these real quick. 
So the reason why I don't like that is because um, here, here's the reason why I don't like it. This is the reason why I don't recommend it. Because half of the memory on the 3090 is on the back. See? Half of it's on the back. And there have been a lot of reliability issues with the RAM on the back of the GPU starting to flake out after a while. If you remember uh, Amazon's MMO New World, New World was cooking some of the components on here um, that were on the back of the GPU. I don't like the 3090 for that very reason. So I don't really recommend the 3090 in general. I would rather you get a 3090 Ti instead because the 3090 Ti doesn't have, okay, it has the same amount of memory, but it's using the double, it's, it's more dense RAM. So all the memory is on the same side of the, the, the PCB. So there's no RAM on the back on the 3090 Ti. So I would definitely say 3090 Ti over the, um, the 3090 for that reason. So, yeah. But other than that, like, yeah, you're saying $650? Uh, honestly, have you looked at this? Although, I didn't see the other half of your... You game at 14... 100p 30 like why are you even talking about 3090 if you're at 1440p like uh, you don't even need to do anything you typically i typically buy every other gen i went from 1080 to so then why are you looking at the that's a waste man don't, don't do anything like stay with the 3080 like why are you even considering the 3090 for that that doesn't make any sense um yeah, just stick with that. Like, I was going to say this, but you already have a 3080. So there's really, like, no why. Like, that's just throwing money away, like, at that point. Would Elon buy the 4090 equals hell no? I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't really do anything with graphics cards. So, yeah, well, he would not buy it. No, he would buy AMD and make a better one. <laughs> oh man Zeke oh Zeke you're tiring me out man with all these Elon comments <sighs> oh, I can barely keep up with you man all these Elon comments <sighs> okay so in general in general for those wondering uh, right now it's funny because a lot of people are looking at used, used 30 series. I mean, it, it's a valid, it's a valid thing to do. It makes sense. I mean, I understand where you're coming from, but if you have a 3080 and you're on a 10, on a 1440p monitor, you really don't need these GPUs. Like honestly, they're not really necessary for 1440p. So you're you're good. I would forget about 30 series. You're saying you buy every other generation. So, yeah, like you already have the 30 series. So basically skip the 40 series and forget about the other 30 series cards because they're really not worth it at this point. You already have a relatively good one. So I would just stick with that. Um, if you're buying new, then RDNA 2 makes sense. If you're buying used, then maybe the 30 series makes sense. But it kind of depends on what that listing price is. Okay. Um, well, you know, I was I was showing the paint thing, but apparently that didn't come through. Where is it? Oh. What I was saying earlier, I'll just reiterate it real quick. If you're buying new, then these make sense because you can find all of them under MSRP. But if you're buying used, then the 30 series kind of makes sense too. But again, it depends on the listing price of that used GPU. So, um, 4090 is for those people who don't care about the price to performance. You just want the best, the best of the best. Have always been Halo products. The 4090 isn't the unreasonable card. Um, 4080 is the, I wish the 600 top of the line GPUs were still a thing. You mean 
Wait, say so six hundred top of the line. Are you talking about sixty, or are you talking about like six thousand, like these? The video doesn't mind selling you a chip that overheats or catches fire. Okay, well, let me see. What should I do here? Um, uh, the 1080 Ti, which was, oh, the price, the $600 price. Well, the 1080 Ti was $700. Um, when it launched back in 2017 fun fact the 1080 ti launched right alongside the first generation of ryzen cpus <laughs> is that is that supposed to be a Yu-Gi-Oh reference <laughs> open your mind that's like Yu-Gi-Oh episode one for me to upgrade from a CC800 XT ray tracing games have to run at 60, otherwise last gen is good enough. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. Well, I I guess yeah, it's, I understand where where you're coming from with that comment about the 60 FPS RT games. This may have been asked already. Do we know what time? Yes, 9 a.m. Eastern. At least for Micro Center, it's 9 a.m. Eastern. Now I I. I assume everyone else is the same, um, but yeah, it, we're now under 12 hours for the launch. Um, I guess, uh, okay, let me do this. You guys can keep chatting. Let me open, uh, what do I need to do here? Uh, what was I going to do? You know what also launches tomorrow? Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion. Um, I will probably live. I will probably be live streaming that game using the 7900 XTX if I get one. We'll see if I get one. I'm not 100% sold on it. Um, you know, Zeke is kind of saying Elon's gonna buy AMD, so maybe I need to wait for that first. So he'll fix it apparently. Um, so we'll see. I, I gotta see what things look like in the morning. Um, but regardless, Crisis Core is coming out tomorrow, the Reunion. That's that's a game that I've been waiting for for a long time. That's the last game of this year that I'm actually looking forward to. So, so I will be playing that game on stream tomorrow. In fact, I guess what I'll do now is... Uh, uh, let's see. Let me see uh, how this is going to work. Um, no, I doubt it will be out of stock in minutes. It will probably last a few hours. Well, the the 4080 lasted several days at Micro Center. So, um, the, the thing is, I don't think the, the AMD cards will have the same amount of stock as the 4080 did. I think the 4080 has higher stock at launch than the 7900 XTX will have. I'm a little concerned, like, if they have, say, 20 XTX cards, and they only, and then they have, like, 50 XT cards, because I'm not really interested in the XT card personally, so that'll be kind of weird and disappointing if that's, if that ends up being a thing, so, uh, we'll have to, we'll have to look into that, okay, so let me check these real quick. Expedition complete. We'll pick up that stuff. And then we'll grab more. So, the 4080 had a fourth of the units as the 4090. The thing is, the 4090 sold out really, really fast. Not, like, super fast. Not like how the 3080 was. But it did sell out in one day. At least in all the micro centers. Maybe there was like two models in certain stores, like the Zotax probably stuck around for a little while, but other than those, like, there was literally like nothing. I'm pretty sure like all the Strix, the, uh, you know, all any kind of like Best Buy online, that was gone. Like, that was gone in like 20 minutes. 
Um, so... NVIDIA runs hot, you're not getting a good water cooler with the purchase for a price too high. Forty series, not what they're supposed to be. Don't accept NVIDIA's rubbish. I mean, no one's saying you have to buy it. All right, so let's do this. Let's uh, let me do some. Uh, is there anything for me to collect here? Oh, there's items to collect. Yeah, so the blacksmith made these little things. So let me grab this stuff. What are we supposed to do? Wait for Intel to release Battle Mage and Celestial and hopefully save us. <laughs> Be smart. Don't buy things till they sell down. I mean, that... Okay, he has a point. Zeke, you do have a point. I get I get the underlying message. Um, that, yes, everything is overpriced. I agree with you there. But the reality is, you gotta look at it this way. Imagine if somebody is on a really old... Like, okay... The example earlier with the 1050 Ti Mobile, like that going to any of these new AMD cards, or even any of the NVIDIA cards, or even any of the like last gen AMD 6000 series or the NVIDIA RTX 30 series, that would be a massive upgrade to the person, to anybody who's on like a 1050 Ti Mobile, right? So you gotta think of it like that. If, if somebody is having to build a new PC today from scratch, they can't afford to wait around. What are they supposed to do? Buy, you know, like a, a, a used graphics card that's four years old? Like, uh, you know, at some point, people are still going to have to buy new systems or build their own new system. And they're going to have to choose from what's available. And they're just going to have to budget accordingly. If the thing is like 20% more money than it was two years ago, you know, you just kind of have to put up with that. But the reality is the AMD cards aren't actually more than last gen so yeah the nvidia ones are more expensive but the amd ones aren't so it's kind of a half argument there doing the right thing gets you more of i know i get what you're saying but that's still not going to stop people who have to buy a uh, graphics card just because they they gotta build a pc man what are they gonna do like what are they gonna do sit around do nothing what, are they, what, the, what should they do buy a ps5 and just play con console or something like anyway but i get what you're coming i get what you're saying like i get the i get the idea like lower yeah the lower if no one buys anything then yeah they gotta lower the prices they just gotta do that oh wait there's some stuff over here You went ice, you went yesterday, there's still a bunch of 4080 at Micro Center, Yonkers. Yeah. That's good to know, I mean, well, I mean, I've seen, I've seen a couple too, as well. Like, I've seen like two different AIB 4080s. Let me deal with this bounty real quick, because I need the Mora. According to intelligence, this target is invulnerable to cryo, but takes increased damage from catalyst wielding characters. Somewhere over here in the palm woods. Just watching him putting money back here and there for eight months to buy a new GPU. If you plan ahead, yeah. I mean, that's just going to trigger a lot of people, though, that say that you shouldn't buy the GPU because you're feeding into their. Uh, the increased price even though you've saved up all that money you know you go and buy that gpu you're giving them all that money that you saved up so i can't use her she's not gonna work here so i gotta bring like somebody else we'll bring sino he'll, he'll help dual electro and actually you know what let's uh let's get rid of the healer i don't need the healer i'll bring uh Nahida instead for Dendro. We'll go Dendro and Electro. Okay. This is what we all thought about Ram scalping in 2018. Save that money for the good rig. The rig that is what it's supposed to be, not a lesser knockoff. Yeah. 
Hold up. Let me, uh, where am I supposed to go? Where is this thing hiding? It's like over here somewhere. Spider-Man web swing toward it. Where is it at? Oh, they're like way down there. Okay. The world has changed. Those prizes are not coming back. Uh, they may, they could come back. They could come back. Um, but yeah, the inflation stuff has kind of screwed everything up. Oh, that hurt. Took a lot of damage there. Just watching is probably right. You mean just waiting? But yeah. Yeah, that honestly guys, so like the comment earlier about should I buy a 3090 if I have a 3080? Okay, even though it's you're buying used, that doesn't that doesn't affect Nvidia or AMD, so you could do that in theory, but I would say no, it's not worth it, especially because you're on 1440p. Um, but if the comment was like, should I buy 4080 or 7900 and I have a 3080 and I'm on a 1440p monitor, if you're going to buy new, then you're basically playing into what Zeke is saying that you shouldn't do because it's basically hurting the general, you know, the general population of gamers. So yeah, I mean, I get, I get the point. So in that regard, yeah, don't buy just because you feel like you want to upgrade. You genuinely should upgrade because you need to upgrade. Either your graphics card is dying, or it's super old, or whatever. Now, let me go back and turn this in. Okay, so 30,000 more for that one. Okay, this next one, Anemo doesn't work, and he's weak to bow-wielding characters. Oh, that means I gotta take get rid of, like, two of my party members. Okay, so now we can't use her. She's not gonna work, and he's not gonna work either. So we're gonna have to go with a completely different lineup. Um, mm. oh, bow wielding characters. Oh, yeah, this guy. We'll just go with them. Stand up to the evil tag, stand up to the evil corp. Yeah, don't. Oh, wait, he's right over here. Oh, boy. Something else is aggroed to me, because, like, where is that wind attack coming from? It's like a random wind attack. Where is this wind attack coming from? Who is attacking me with wind? I think I have aggroed like another enemy from somewhere. I don't know where, but some 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 random mob is like casting wind spells somewhere. Super annoying. Okay, well that's gone. It was one of those dudes over there, like randomly spamming wind attacks. Anyway. All you really wanted was a great video card. Why should you be punished for that inflated prices and bogus features? What are the bogus features? Ray tracing? <laughs> Ray tracing is a bogus feature? I mean, uh, I half, I half agree with that statement, but uh, I think as the technology matures, it'll become less of a bogus statement or bogus feature. If neither AMD or NVIDIA budge and Intel doesn't get their game up, prices are... Well, waiting on Intel is 
That's going to be a while. We'll just put it that way. Basically, 2023 for Intel is going to be just driver updates to Alchemist. And then Battle Mage is probably like 2024. And maybe very, very late a year from now, Battle Mage might show up. Um, but I kind of think it's 2024. Invulnerable to Electro from Polearm. Okay. Okay. So I can't use Electro. So I gotta get rid of Yai because she's Electro. We gotta go with like... This guy uses Polearm but he's Electro so that won't work. I don't really need a Polearm character. Uh, 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 let's see, my Izuna group, what do these guys have? No, they don't have polearm. None of these people use polearm. I guess it's them, but we're not going to use him. We'll probably just bring, like, Candace. Let's bring her. Okay, let's go. Let's teach this guy a lesson over here. Let's go, yeah. These are like hunts in, like, Final Fantasy, for those wondering. Ouch. Okay, that's it. Fly. Why is he attacking that thing? I like how he can, like, recover in the air. That's really cool. This character can do that. Because I think that's, like, a one-of-a-kind feature right there. You got a good deal on the DDR5 and an AM5 motherboard. Did you get like a Micro Center Black Friday? Because Micro Center currently has a deal. Oh gosh, that hurts. Wow, that dude hurts. Step on this guy. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that was awesome. Um, I like how this guy hovers in the air. This guy's pretty cool. Did you get the Micro Center? Because there was some really good Micro Center deals. You get free DDR5, like... You get free 16 gigs of DDR5 with the... Wait, hold up. Um. Hold up. You got a good deal. Da, 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 da. I'm not going to hurt your feelings by explaining that was a big mistake. Yes, I am. Wait, that was a bit of a mistake. You're saying, what? I know you don't want to eat what? Huh? What is the best video card choice, though? Like, what's the best? What's the best video card choice right now? Because I think that that really depends on the person buying in the market for a GPU. Hmm. Okay, this one's done. CC800 XT is the best one off of Newegg, yeah. If you're looking at Newegg and you're looking at US prices, but it might be different in other regions. Yeah, I mean, that's... Okay, I gotta defeat the fungi. I mean, that's the only one in my mind that makes sense right now. 
I like how this guy can fly really fast. The only problem with Dendro and Anemo in the same group is... Oh, they don't really... Um, whoops, that was a waste. They don't really mix. Like, you can't really chain... Um, But I can still do Dendro in water, so that's why you want to have at least like three elements. Wait, why is why are those two like? Fatozan, shoot this thing. Somebody's, like, friendship level... One of these characters' friendship levels went up. I think it was him. Yeah, he's level 2. Okay. Uh, next one. So, hold up. Video cards right now are not worth... It at these artificially inflated prices and disappointing performance levels. But it's been the situation for yeah, basically since the since the thirty series launched, man, it's been like that for a long time now. And, and and honestly, it isn't even as bad as it was like a year ago. You gotta you gotta go look at what the price of the thirty eighty was a year ago. It was basically around the price of an RTX forty ninety. Um, maybe a little bit less. Maybe like 1500 Okay, so what, what am I doing? Oh, this one? We're going way over here now? Can I land on this branch? No. Okay, I guess we're going to slow fly to that thing. And avoid those guys, because I don't really want to fight those guys. Okay, that is pretty cool. Oh, we are going to have to fight them anyway. And when they have a... What is that, a water guy? Or is that, an ele or is that a frost? We got to bring an electro. I'll just bring Dory, I guess. I'll bring Sino. He's, he's pretty tough. All right, let's do it. Get this guy first. Whoa! That's, that, that was not who I was trying to target. Where is the frost one? Is he dead? The frost guy, like, just died somehow? Oh, you know what? I, for I forgot. I should have brought the cryo. I, sh I should have kept the cryo character in. Although, swirling is pretty good. Alright, here we go. Electro against Electro. I guess we don't have any choice. We're just gonna do this the cheesy way. Quicken and spread. We'll get him. There. What? He teleport away? Man, this this character, I like this guy who can like fly in the air. He's the only character that can do that. That's pretty cool. Okay. <sighs> you know they've been scamming us.
So is Apple. <laughs> Apple. <laughs> oh, wait. Is there, like, an another one of these that I have to do? Oh, I need to turn in. Somebody needs fruits. Hold on. Oh, wait. They're, like, over here somewhere. <laughs> oh, wait. No, not this. What? No. Wrong NPC. This guy. Elon, is he just SME dude? What? He's just SME dude. What? Elon will take over AMD and then we can get the video card of our dreams. I mean, I kind of want to believe you to be honest. I feel like that would be hilarious if that actually happened. Ah, that would be funny, man. Star Frank. <laughs> oh, man. How many of these do I have? 866? Okay, I think... Did the, did the blacksmith make four of these? I gotta go check the blacksmith. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I wished we could get them for cheaper too, but like some people in the chat are probably still gonna buy one because they they have to have a graphics card. I mean, not this. Was he making stuff? Oh, I don't think he was. Is this? Oh yeah, yeah. That's okay. He's like maxed out on that. All right, let's go over here. He knows this is his next logical move to stop evil tech. Is AMD the right one to buy, or is Nvidia the right one to buy, though, when you're talking about evil tech? Oh, I still can't get this one. Okay. I guess what I can do now is I can check my check my resin and we probably farm some artifacts I guess although I don't have the hero's wit I mean there's all this other stuff that I could be doing like for instance oh wait there's these things oh they're not even unlocked so I guess I can do the TCG I don't want to play the card game right now but there's a card game now apparently in this game we're not gonna play that, so we're just gonna do this. How many of these do I have, actually? Three? So let me make, uh, well, you know what, hold on. Uh, let's do the weekly, I guess. Where is it? Uh, or did I already do it? Oh yeah, let's do this. <clears throat> I guess I'll heal. Let's just match with other players. Let's do co-op. Here we go. Co-op game loading. I'm gonna do the raid fight for the weekly. All right, let's go. Let's go, people. So let's start the match. Let's go. And I will be the healer because uh, I don't like the idea that there's no healer around. So you got ice, cool dude that can fly. This guy. All right, I'll heal. We're good. This is my favorite boss fight to do co-op. Because I feel like it's it has the less... It has the least amount of chances of complete party wipe. Um, compared to the other ones. The older ones. This is the newest raid fight in the game. Alright, here we go. Let's do it. Go, people. Watch out. They stood in the wrong area. Took a lot of damage. I'll have to heal them all up with my ult. Here we go. Ult up. This game seems cool. Glad you like it. Alright, guys. Over here. Alright, we got him. We got him. DPS him down. DPS him down. We double staggered him. Here we go, full DPS, full DPS. 
れはい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。Almost, almost. Oh, got him. Got him in one cycle. All right, we're going to phase two. Here we go, phase two. All right, I'm playing as healer for those wondering. And, every, and these other guys, I don't know why this dude's like lagging, but. All right, here we go. This makes me think of Nier Automata, this part. Right, I'm going to put my little jellyfish back up a little bit. Oh, took some damage. I got to go Spider Man web swing, grab that thing, grab that ad. Bolt up. Protect myself with iframes. The only reason why. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna slam. That's gonna hurt. That hurts. Really bad. My little octopus, my jellyfish can like heal us. So these guys who are taking damage need to get over here. Oh, he's gonna like do that. Oh, I'm gonna take that. That's gonna hurt. All right. People taking damage. Shoot him with that thing. Shoot him with another one. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is it. Heal up. Everybody in. Everybody in the circle. Okay, this is it. DPS check. DPS check. Full DPS check. Alright, I'm gonna web swing. I'm gonna grab that one. Grab, grab that one, grab that one. Alright, okay, get ready. Get ready. There. Okay, web swing, Spider Man style, Spider Man style. This is why I don't need Spider Man Remastered. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna heal everybody up. Ult up. DPS him down, burn him down. I'm healing up the whole party to full health. Alright, look at that HP bar drop. Look at that awesome DPS right there. The Tainari was like lagging the whole time. It was hilarious. The dude with the rabbit ears was lagging. This guy over here, he was lagging so badly. <laughs> but it's good. We got it on one try, so that was a good clear. All right, so I got kind of what I needed, puppet strings. And then we got cryo cup or goblet and circlet. That's not really that good, but okay, that's cool. Um. All right, so next boss fight, we're gonna do Raiden Shogun. This one's actually pretty hard when done with randoms. Just watching, later, nice chatting with you. Yep, thanks for stopping by. Let me reform the group. Yeah, I'll try to get one tomorrow so I can do content on the channel with it. But like Zeke is saying, don't buy a GPU just to buy a GPU. If you have a good one that's not really weak in any way, I mean, unless you really want to upgrade your monitor, there's really no reason to, to upgrade right now. You can kind of skip these gener this generation just because of the way the pricing is. So to me, I get it. It makes sense. Wait, is my... What? Okay. Alright, we're gonna do this one, and then we'll see what else we're gonna do. But tomorrow I am gonna be playing a more diverse lineup of games. Alright, we're gonna do this raid fight now. <laughs> And once again, we don't have a healer. I will probably be Ninja Girl because she's a healer. So we have an Electro Healer. Okay, we can't have two of these. Uh, Shao, Beido, and Yelin. Uh, or Yelan, this guy. You guys want me to heal with this or you guys want me to heal with Kokomi? I guess we'll go like that. We'll see. I'm down to be our Electro. Okay. Okay. You want me to be Coco Me? <laughs> I guess I'm healing again. Okay.
She's ready. Okay, let's get in there. Let's go. She's gonna rush us down. All right, alt up. I'm going full power. I gotta heal uh, Yelon up. Okay, watch, watch for the ad. It's that one over there in the way distance. Never use the words graphics or GPU. Out. Out. I hope the game audio is not too loud. I don't think it's loud for me, but I don't know how it is showing up on stream. Man, we're just burning through her HP bar. We're doing pretty good. We have really good DPS. Uh, we need to get away from that stuff. No, don't- oh, two of them died. It's just me and- oh man, this is not good. We might need to wipe. They died. But she's- she's kind of low on HP. I feel like we might be able to do it. Ouch. Should we just... We should probably just redo this. Because it'll be faster. Oh god. <laughs> We're down to just two of us. Two of them died. Oh, you know what? Did anybody watch the Game Awards? I didn't watch the Game Awards. But there was this thing with... Uh, apparently, like... Was it Genshin Impact and Sonic? There was some, like, weird... Whoa, that was a lot. Okay. There was some weird, like, controversy between the two games. There was, like, a bunch of bots voting for the best. I don't even know what the nomination was for, but this game that I'm streaming right here, Genshin Impact did actually win, ultimately. I don't know what the what the, the category was. I just remember hearing about it. Man, that Yelon has insane DPS. <laughs> we are down two party members, and we are basically just, like, killing this whole thing. Once we got her shield down. Awesome. <laughs> 46k! Oh man, that was awesome. Okay. That was awesome. Heal up, everybody. Heal up. Okay. That was great. Okay, I needed one of those. I definitely needed this thing, so that was actually some pretty good drops from that for the weekly. That, this is a very good piece, so we're going to save that one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. Alright, I'm out of that. All right. Uh, Electron, can we get that Sakura thing? Okay, yeah. let's get some of the wood. Because we don't come here all the time. So I might as well collect this wood off these trees. Okay. All right, I think I'm good. I think I got all my stuff done. They sell the reference chips and we be swallowing the bait. Stand up for yourself against the bogus high price tag. They were warned retaliations of if the Okay. 
So I think I got all the stuff. I don't have the resin. Actually, you know what? I can now run the artifact thing. There is a new domain, but the thing is, yeah, I kind of need that domain. All right, let's go grab that. Let's go grab this domain, this new domain that was added to the game recently. And test this out. We'll fly over there. The cool thing about him is he can like fly burst and then he can just kind of like this terrain looks like it's from the movie Dune. Um, so that's pretty cool. Like it's all like desert and stuff. Hopefully we're not flying over into sandworm territory. There's supposed to be a domain somewhere down there. We're going down. We're dropping. We're losing altitude. I'm going to go all the way down. I don't really know what's all down there. That's interesting. Apparently there's some stuff here that I've never seen before. So this is new. Let's see what this does. Collect eight dendro particles. Okay, that's two. Three. Four, five. It's gonna be six, seven. So where's? Oh, there it is. All right. Cool treasure chest. All right. So. We have, what, like, 11 hours or something? Something like that? I gotta find out where that domain is. It's like somewhere down here. Hopefully there's like no sand. Oh, right here. Cool. New domain. And it drops these artifacts. The one I'm looking for is this one. Desert Pavilion Chronicle. The two-piece set bonus is an MO damage bonus plus 15%. Four-piece set, when charge attacks hit opponents, the equipping characters, normal attacks speed will increase by 10%. Well, yeah, this is the one I want to get. The other one increases elemental mastery by 80. The equipping characters bloom, hyper bloom. The, this is more like... Um, this is for a Dendro type character. So this could be cool for like Nahida or something. So let's see. They recommend wind for this. So I'll just... You know what? I'm not going to bring Sino. I'm going to bring Dory because she's a healer. We're going to go with this. Let's see how this goes. Okay. This is new. I've never been here before. I like how this guy can fly, man. That makes that makes getting to the domain start point way faster. All right, here we go. We'll start off with Dory. We'll just throw down the genie of the lamp. Do that first. Do a double. Hit all of them with this stuff. Hit him with that. Bam. Yeah. It's taking a lot of damage. Okay, I need to get my heal up. All right. She needs to come in. Do her Vocaloid moves or something. Do something. Okay, here we go. Oh, they got him stuck in a bubble. What the? Yeah. 
Wow, okay, that did a lot of damage. Look at that, he's doing pretty good damage. Like, there was over 10k, but then the Dendro wore off. Alright. Let's see what type of loot we get from this place. I think I'll do three runs. Okay, so... This one... A goblet? HP Goblet. Uh, hmm. Okay. After a character triggers a swirl reaction, all party members gain a 50% anemo damage bonus for 10 seconds. Okay, so you do kind of want double anemo in here. Whoops, I just wasted her move. Okay. Now I'm gonna trigger the Anemo. Why is it not working on that one enemy? These enemies are annoying for Catalyst users because they don't get stunned easily. See, like, the, those stupid, these dudes, the mushroom hat things, they, like, they don't get staggered easily. They're annoying. You have to hit them with a sword or, like, a melee weapon. Did I get all three? Yes, okay. Farza? I, don't, I need to read up on her moves again, because I don't really understand how her moves really work. See, the dude, the hammerhead, the mushroom that looks like he goes on a pizza? That's the annoying one. The headbutt move is so annoying. This dude, the brown one, with his dumb, like, slam down? Okay, that's a lot of... We're casting a lot of damage right there. Should've just probably stayed on her the whole time, because she's doing the most damage. Oh man, I keep getting I keep getting the the one that I don't want. The one that's for the it's not terrible cuz I can put this on the dendro character, but I'm looking for the other uh like this one. Yeah. But I'm not getting the legendary. I'm getting like the purple drop instead. So it's it's, it's dropping the the wrong one, but uh whatever. Awesome. Alright. Hold up. Ouch! Stop. Oh, all the projectile spam. Alright, I'm gonna knock them all down with that. I really need her ult. Oh boy. Alright, the lamp, the genie of the lamp needs to keep healing me up. Where is that guy? There we go. Okay, alright, well. The drumstick thing keeps on like headbutting me. This guy right here is annoying. 
Look at this guy. There, fell down, that's funny. Alright, here we go. <laughs> he went like too high in the air, he couldn't reach him. That's funny. The shield. Shield. This one takes a while to complete. I haven't figured out the proper rotation yet with this one. Okay. Oh, we finally got one. We finally got two of them. But, okay, this one has terrible substats. Although this does work on a character. This technically could work on a character that, that scales with max HP. And it's a crit rate circlet, so it's, I don't know, it's kind of a very niche uh, artifact, but it could work. This one, not really. Although, eh, for a support character like a healer, this could possibly work. But a Nemo, like, I don't know, other than this going on, like, uh, I don't really know who this would work on. Because it's the two-piece doesn't make sense for most of the healers, so. Alright, well that's that. So that's going to be that one. Um, I unlocked the domains. That's pretty cool. Alright. This is all desert down here. This reminds me of Nier Automata. Like, I feel like this game... Oh, you can't actually go over there. It's, it's like sealed off. This game draws off of like so many other games for inspiration like i can tell this game is this game is inspired by um breath of the wild near automata like fighting games to some extent puzzle games like there's so much variety in here um so this is probably like a probably the best live service game right now um outside of being a full-blown mmo All right, we got all the stuff done. Like I still have like a whole bunch of quests that I need to do. But we can do that some other time. All right, well I think, uh, well other than me like switching over to a different game, I think we've covered most of the content on this stream. So regardless of whether you're upgrading tomorrow or not, uh, or you're just going to kind of wait it out until next year, or you're just going to kind of see like what I think of these graphics cards, although I kind of have already given my opinion, um, we'll see like what happens tomorrow. But I, I do think there'll be a fair good amount of stock at launch based off of what I've heard. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll be able to see how that turns out. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the content, and I will see you guys in the next one. And hopefully I'll have an unboxing video and first impressions video of the 7900XTX tomorrow. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. And once again, thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.